I'll tell you someone who's making sense, and that's Jeff Kennett, the former Premier of Victoria. He wrote a brilliant column for the Herald Sun today where he asked two questions. Why is youth crime out of control in Victoria and indeed around the nation? And what response ought we make? Because clearly what we're doing at the moment is having no effect. Now, he's proposing that instead of putting juveniles in prisons where they are only uh, made even more... Um, are prone to crime by hardened criminals there, that we put them in sort of work farms where they do manual labour, they engage in education, they set goals, they share responsibilities, they have limited time on devices, and basically they learn in a group setting to be good citizens. I actually think, Caleb and Liz, that Jeff Kennett's answered his own question as to what's wrong. It's called family. Basically, he's proposing mm. put these kids... In families, at the moment we have a society where kids aren't disciplined at home, then they get to school, they're not disciplined there, then they go to court, they're not disciplined there, and we mm. wonder why we've got problems. So I think uh, removing them from the major criminal system and putting them on work farms is a great idea, but I think he's alluded to a bigger problem, and that is the breakdown of family. That's where all of this ultimately stems from. Kids aren't being disciplined as youngsters, and is it any wonder then they grow up to commit crimes? And we've known that forever, right? I mean, you look at the, the youth crime crisis in Queensland, the one you've now got in Victoria. We've always known it. And the question's always been, where are the parents? Where are the parents? Well, the parents aren't there. That's why these kids end up acting up, because they've got no-one to either discipline them, tell them what to do, or no-one who cares for them, mm. for them. And in those situations, kids tend to act out. I can't believe that in all this time that we've been talking about youth crime crises here on Sky News, which is as long as I've been with this network, particularly up in Queensland, no-one over there had the brains to think, oh, hang on a minute, we've got a problem with all these kids who keep getting sent to youth detention. Maybe instead of putting them in youth detention, which is like a crime workshop, mm. we'll create somewhere else where they can go and learn some skills, actually do something productive yeah. for society and hopefully come out the other end with a sense of purpose. It took a former Premier to come out and say, hang on, there's a great idea here. Why has no-one else thought of this before? Well, the church has. I remember growing up there was this place called Teen Challenge. It's still running and going strong. And that's exactly what they do with what we would call, you know, troubled teens. And they would work closely with the government as well, these juvenile delinquents acting up. Teen Challenge was always out on a farm somewhere. I grew up in country Victoria, a little town called Kyabram, so Teen Challenge was well known to us. And these kids would go out there, live in community, with obviously youth workers and just great people who wanted to look after them. They were removed from whatever toxic situation they were in, whether that was at home or living on the streets, and they were under a very strict regime of discipline and they had a sense of purpose because mm. they all had something to do on the land. It worked brilliantly and to this day they have amazing outcomes because that's what those kids mm. need. If you give them people that is basically a fill-in family, you give them a sense of purpose, you get them out of trouble and you give them a sense of uh, hope for the future, mm. they're up and running. Yeah.